Hey guys, it's Gomrath here, once again bringing you some Tanan jungle action, and I am on Bleak Claw. He is kind of a pain in the buttocks, and I wanted to tell you the strategy that I use for beating him. Now, in my first slot, I've got Chrominius, and he's running Arcane Explosion, Howl, and Surge of Power. And then in my second slot, I've got the Anubis South Idol, uh, the Kunlai Runt, just because... I don't know, they were from the last fight and the Anubis South Idols are pretty powerful. Now what you're going to do is you can see that so far I've done Arcane Explosion twice. Now we actually need to end up doing Arcane Explosion until he is below 16, um, 1665 damage because that's how much your Howl does. So I ended up doing Arcane Explosion as you saw three times. And then I hit him with Howl and Surge of Power. Boom! And we knock him out of the park. All you need to do is make sure he's under 1665. That's the number to beat. Haha, -ha, he missed his Nocturnal Strike. And then you do the best you can to clean up these backline pets. You know, you might want to run like another Dragon type instead of the uh, Kunlai Runt, but. You know, I was feeling adventurous, so I threw in my coon lie. Let's see. Hit him with frost shock. Ha! He went for another YOLO nocturnal strike there. Uh, he's still above 65% health. Aw, oh, dang it. Now he's going to heal it all back. Okay. Sweet, now I can deep freeze him, and we'll body slam. Boom! And there goes their stupid debuff. Also, something to point out is I finally got a power power blood beak today, which I was really excited about. Okay. Oh, sweet. Um, yeah, we'll just do a takedown. Sorry, little fella. Now we're going to deep freeze you. Boom! Okay, and that's how you get rid of Bleak Claw. And I didn't even use my new Sath Idol. So, anyway, if you found that video helpful, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't. Take care.